So I filed for a divorce today. And quite honestly, the moment is bittersweet. I mean, this man fucked up so bad to the point where I couldn't even save my marriage if I wanted to. The restraining order is for six years. So after I filed for divorce, I was like, might as well just go ahead and get rid of everything in one fell swoop. So I go today to the pawn shop to try to sell my ring. I thought they was at least going to give me 500 for it. Nope. They was talking about 250 Max, so I'm like, shit, I might as well keep it. This ring holds terrible memories for me anyway. You see how it barely fits on my finger? Yeah, it was too little, which is an indication of the marriage, how it was just really suffocating me. So instead of going into a deep depression, I just decided to go and work out in my garden, give my vegetables some TLC. If I look mad there, it is because I am. <laughs> it was hot that day. <laughs> but most importantly, I always light my Oya candle for reflection to help me get through the situation. So have you went through a divorce and how did you handle it? What things did you do to take care of yourself afterwards? Let me know in the comments. If you fuck with me, go out there and be ambitious. Go out there and really get shit done and stop depending on motherfuckers. I am the star in any room that I stand in. I am the stand. Oh, now nah, we gotta go. Hey, rich babes, how are you? I'm Bella Dior, and today we're going to talk about life after divorce and ways to just embrace your new chapter and start thriving. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share, and comment down below your thoughts on this video. Let's get started. So, divorce can be one of the most challenging experiences you will ever go through, but there's also an opportunity for a fresh start. If you find yourself struggling to adjust or unsure of where to begin in your new journey, you're just not alone. Today, of course, we're talking about life after a divorce and how to pick yourself back up and I have some essential tips to help you enjoy your new life but before we get into that I am also a divorcee I got divorced in 2018 when my youngest child was four months old I found I could not deal with the heartaches anymore and I just had to leave so there are a lot of women like us that leave with children and leave without any children but going through a divorce and starting over is never easy for anyone. I literally had to pick myself up from ground zero. My credit was shot. I had no place of my own. It was absolutely terrible. And from 2018 to 2020, I literally was just in a dark era of trying to just fix my life. Once I hit 30 and I was able to finally move into my new place at the age of 30, then that's when life really started to get better for me. As I started to learn more of how to love myself, how to navigate being a single divorced mom of five now, and also just juggling life and learning more about myself and what I want now, what I don't want, what I will accept, what I won't accept. So it is a complete journey. So if you're going through this right now, babe, you are not alone. I'm trying to tell my brain that I have to unlove a person as my husband That's tough. That's was tough. like mentally challenging. And when I say and this time, I didn't realize I was a bit of an extremist. Like, and so I started talking to other women. I'm yeah. like, I never liked other man pictures, like, outside of a friend group. I never liked other man pictures on social media. I never even went on their pages like that. I wasn't even friends with other men unless they were, like, business, friends of that nature. Nobody that would ever be like, oh, they like me. Yeah. Or I feel like they like yeah. me. Yeah. So I always kept my eyes tunnel vision when it came to being in a relationship and with my husband. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that was so hard for me because even in the midst of going through that, I was still tunnel vision because that was all I knew for 15 years. You know what I'm saying? As a woman, that was he was all I really know yeah. for all that time. Yeah. So the transition in that, you know, was that was a bit much by itself yeah. was learning that. This is not your person. I got married and going through a divorce all before the age of 30. Left my beautiful home and life and moved back to Florida and back here with my parents. And I honestly didn't know what the hell I was doing. I thought I was making the worst decision ever and failing my kids. And they were going to look back and think that I was the worst mom ever. But turns out they're actually pretty happy and normal and loving life. And me, 
and making new friends and living life. It was literally just me having to get out of my own head and figuring out myself all over again. Literally simple things like, what do I like to wear? How do I think? And what makes me happy? And finding joy in literally the smallest things ever. Finding myself all over again, which sounds easy, but it's actually not. I decided to dive back into my family because I was always gone. I never got to experience every celebration and get together or simply just being around them. I also decided to rekindle some old friendships and create some new ones and just laugh and have a good fucking time. But don't get it twisted. I'm still crying probably once a week and confused and scared and wondering what the fuck I did. But at the end of the day, I'm realizing that life is still going to push on. And I got this shit. And we're starting completely over. And we're about to have a blast. When I first got divorced, it was the hardest part of my life. I didn't have anything. I didn't have no car. I had to start over. I literally had to sell my car. I, me and my kids got on a flight with four suitcases and my dog. And I had to start over. I ended up having to move back with my parents. Me and my kids were sleeping in a queen size bed all four of us I was ashamed I had to get on food stamps and I literally had to start over I was embarrassed I was like Lord what am I gonna do I'm out here in this world I got three kids what do I do I don't know I don't even know where to begin and I look at my life now even though I'm not where I want to be yet I'm grateful for the experience and I'm grateful for where he has brought me from y'all do you understand me I almost lost my mind I'm telling y'all, I know what you're going through. I almost lost my mind. It was times that I contemplated suicide and everything. And I, God has done so much in my life. And I just want to encourage y'all, like, you're going to make it through it. He brought me through it. Love y'all. Divorce is one of the most life-altering events that can just turn your world upside down. When a marriage ends, it's not just the loss of a relationship but the loss of shared dreams routines and a way of life you may feel a mix of emotions relief sadness anger or even fear of the unknown this is normal it's important to understand that healing after divorce isn't a linear process there will be good days and bad days the key is to remember that you are not defined by your past but rather by the strength and the courage you show moving forward after the dust settles, life after divorce can be an opportunity for profound growth and reinvention. It can teach you to reconnect with yourself, rediscover your values, and create a life that aligns with your true desires. It's a journey of transformation, one where you'll learn more about yourself than ever before. Divorce can take a toll on your self-esteem. You may feel like you're failed or that you're not good enough to make great things work. But the mindset isn't helpful or true. The end of a marriage doesn't diminish your worth or your value. It's critical to rebuild your self-esteem by recognizing your strengths, celebrating small victories, and giving yourself grace as you navigate your new reality. Self-love should become a daily practice because you deserve it. But look at you. Look how far you've come. You faced your trauma. You came out on the other side. And I'm sorry to get a little emotional, but there were some times there when I was really worried about you, Miss Girl. Look at you today. I am so proud of you. You survived, baby. You are survived. So it's been one year since my divorce, and here's what I've learned in my year of healing. So you may be faced with thoughts like, I wonder if we'll come back together later on in life. Maybe he was really my soulmate, it was the right person, wrong timing, things like that. And that can really eat you up. That can really cause you to want to compromise certain things in your now instead of moving forward and moving on. But I want to tell you that that is not within your control and it's really not your business. If that man comes back, then great. You know, cool. If he comes back in better condition. If he doesn't, great cool but that's not your business and you have to learn to shut that down in your mind as soon as it comes and tries to start getting you to rethink things make sure that you are casting those thoughts down because it's really not your business and you can't control it more than anything something i've learned even when it came to my marriage because my divorce wasn't on my behalf he wanted the divorce and i let him have it so you have to understand you can't control everything. You can't control another person and you can't control fate in a sense. If you two are supposed to end up together, you will. 
and beautiful. If not, then you won't, but you'll end up with something much better, whether it's him in a new condition or it's a new man in great condition. You are going to be fine. Don't battle with yourself about the what it could have, should have, should have, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Journey of rediscovery. Many people find themselves asking, who am I now after the divorce? You might realize that over the years, you lost sight of your personal passions, hobbies, or interests. This is a chance to reconnect with who you are before the marriage and to discover who you want to become moving forward. You can use this time to redirect into hobbies, travel, or other pursuits that ignite your passion. It's about crafting a new identity that is entirely your own, free from the expectations of others others is to release emotional baggage. Divorce can leave you carrying emotional scars. It's normal to feel a range of emotions including anger, guilt, and sadness. Letting go of these emotions will take time but it's essential for your healing. Practice forgiveness not just for your ex but also for yourself too. Holding on to bitterness only prolongs your pain. You deserve peace and parts of finding that peace is releasing what no longer longer serves you. The hardest part about divorce is you are grieving not only the life you thought you were going to have, you are grieving this situation, all of it. Divorce is like, is, is death. You have to grieve it, but you also have to live. There's no ending to this mm -hmm. while still making sure that I don't uproot my children, you know, trying to make sure that they have stability and grounding and it has to come from me, but I can't give them that if I'm not grounded mm -hmm. in my word, if I'm not grounded in my mm -hmm. faith, if I'm not stable in my soul and my mind, the fact that I'm not in jail or <laughs> <laughs> girl, what? The fact that I'm not in jail or in a psych ward because of what I've dealt with in the last three years, that's all glory to God. And I wish I was being funny. The fact that I'm able to sit here and build the empire that I've built and done all the work that I've done, that is all God. Cause I should have lost, lost my darn mind. everything, everything. And what's crazy is I did, I lost everything. I made the mistake in thinking that because I bought a house, had the car and the career, that my self-love was top tier. And it wasn't because of the things that I had been allowing in my life. So I had to completely start over from scratch and rediscover who Adriana was after my divorce and being a single mom with three kids. Because I didn't want that to just be my identity. I was more than just a mom. I was more than just a divorcee. I'm a woman. But I had to figure out, well, who are you? And why were you allowing the things that you were allowing that got you in this position in your life right now? The woman that you see today the lifestyle that you see today, the confidence that you see that I have today was only built after being broken, after being probably in the same position that you're in right now with your life after a divorce or major breakup. It took me a while to really reconstruct, rebuild me, figuring out who Adriana was. So I challenge you to self-reflect on those things and get the blueprint. 50% of women do not move on with their lives after divorce because of what they didn't do during the first year of life after divorce. Every single one of my clients admitted to me that their first year after divorce was empowering for them because they felt freedom. They felt a sense of peace that they had never felt before, which is amazing. However, they noticed that over time, things got progressively worse when it came to their ability to actually have a life, a new life that's completely different from the one they were used to having with someone else. Not that they missed that person, but they didn't know how to navigate into a new world, into a new life, because all they were focused on was their freedom and not having to be with him and him being a narcissist and him being all the things that are wrong, that they weren't able to pay attention to what was in front of them, which was a new life, an opportunity for self-discovery. They lost their ability to truly feel empowered and confident again because they felt lost that's when they end up having to hire me. The first thing I give each and every one of them is a free checklist, the first year checklist. These are things that you need to be focused on. Even if you're out of the first year of life after divorce, go back and revisit this checklist. After we assess everything from the checklist, that's when the work begins. You are going to rediscover yourself. You are going to eliminate that mom guilt. You are going to be able to navigate happily through life after divorce because it's not the end all be all. Even if it feels like it at certain moments and times, it's not. There's so much that you you have to offer with the experience that you have, but you first have to start living.
Okay, rich babes, as promised, here are your tips to help pick yourself up and thrive after a divorce. Number one is to create supportive environments. Your surroundings play a big role in how you feel daily. Rearrange your living space, redecorate, or even move to a totally new place if it helps to create a fresh start. Your environment should be a sanctuary where you can heal, grow, and feel at ease. Let go of items that remind you of the past and make space for things that bring you joy and comfort. Number two is set boundaries with your ex. Whether or not you have to maintain contact with your ex due to children or shared obligations, setting boundaries is essential for your mental health. Decide what kind of communication is necessary and what isn't. Emotional detachment from a relationship is key to moving forward. Setting clear boundaries will help you reestablish establish a healthier dynamic moving forward. Number three is establish new goals and daily habits. The routines you had when you were married may no longer apply to your new life. Taking this as an opportunity to create new habits and set new goals that align with your aspirations. Start by setting small daily goals like taking a walk in the morning or reading before bed. As you gain momentum, build towards a larger goal or goals such as pursuing a new career path, traveling to a destination you've always wanted to visit, or tackling a creative project. Number four is surrounding yourself with positive influences. The people you surround yourself with can greatly impact your healing journey. Avoid people who bring negativity in your life or make you question your worth. Instead, just seek those who's uplifting, encouraging, and inspiring. It might be time to reconnect with old friends, join a community, or just starting fresh by meeting new people who share your interests. And I will say with that tip, Rich Babe, that it's highly important that you surround yourself with positive people. When I was going through my divorce and after my divorce, all I heard was, you shoulda did this or you shouldn't have did that. I knew he wasn't good for you. This and the third. I'm like, well, where was y'all at when he when the pastor said speak your mind or forever hold your peace because y'all was all for the marriage and the kids and now that I am a single divorced mom now all of a sudden you know my emotional distress is a burden my children are a burden so you know find you some good people please (laughs) And lastly, number five is take time for self-reflection and therapy. Therapy can be a powerful tool for processing the emotions that come with divorce. If traditional therapy isn't your preference, consider alternative forms of healing such as meditation, journaling, or yoga. Self-reflection can help you gain insight onto what went wrong in your past relationship and what you want for the new one. So understanding these patterns will set you up for a healthier relationships moving forward. And my rich babes, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. You are not a failure. Oh my God, I was so embarrassed when I got my divorce, I swear. I was so embarrassed and I felt like I couldn't talk to anybody because I got married young and got divorced years later. It was just so embarrassing to reach out and then, you know, everybody just wanted to know what happened. And then they would just, I mean, getting scorned for it just to get, what, $20 to put gas in my tank because I get I get no help from him you know it's like look are you gonna help me or not so (sighs) y'all I'm sorry I was venting I swear I went to the dark place (laughs) you're not a failure I promise you're not a failure and (sighs) yeah just just give yourself a hug because it's it's it's, it's really hard. So in conclusion to this, Rich Babes, divorce is not the end of the road. It's mm-hmm. a new chapter. This experience can just, you know, lead you to a self-discovery, renewed confidence, and life that reflects your authentic self. Though the process may be challenging, reminder that the growth 
often comes from discomfort. So use this time to redefine your path, establish new priorities, and heal fully. Your best days are still ahead of you. I love you all, rich babes. I hope this video helps out anyone that is currently you know, recently divorced and just trying to figure it all out. Babe, you're not alone, okay? I love you all and I will see you soon. Stay rich, rich babes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.